Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of February. Now, this is a bonus read for uh, the month. The monthlies for the regular monthlies for February are already up on the channel. So let's get to your bonus read, Aries. We're going to cover your overall energy, crossing energy, present energy future and all that good stuff so and for today's read i'm using the golden tarot a beautiful beautiful deck so let's get to your overall energy here for the month not too shabby here aries the chariot is your overall energy the chariot represents fast movement speed and i know all of my fire signs love to hear that's music to your ears hearing the speed word when it comes to um, things going on in your life. You would always like things to happen faster. And it looks like this month you may be looking at some speed. For others of you, you could be traveling this month or you could be looking at purchasing a vehicle, an RV, and, um, a, a car, a truck, something like that. Uh, full speed ahead though. This is success and attainment moving towards your goals. Very black and white energy, very fast moving. It looks like something is moving along quite quickly in the month of February for you. Your crossing energy here is the seven of wands in the upright position. Well, the Seven of Wands represents um, a little bit of being on edge. Now, this can be a little bit of defensive energy. Sometimes this can pop up when we've done or said something, and we're just not sure how it's going to be received. So it's quite possible that perhaps whatever you're speeding towards or whatever is moving into your life so quickly, maybe you're feeling a little bit defensive about it. You're just not sure how others are going to perceive it. So it could be a little bit of that waiting for the other shoe to drop waiting to see how people um, are going to react to your new plans your new success or your fast movement forward with something but this um, this doesn't necessarily mean anybody will be contesting you or you know there will be an issue it's just feeling that defensive it's like oh I went ahead and did this and uh, now it seems like that train is on the track and it's speeding quickly i don't know how people are going to take this well this could be as simple as that but for others of you this could be defensiveness about something completely different this can sometimes represent um uh, being protective over maybe somebody else it could be protecting someone else it can represent being protective of our privacy it could be being protective of our heart you know anything remember these are just general reads so there's a little bit of on guard energy that's just waning energy throughout the month it's not necessarily going to be a major part of it but it can pop up from time to time so just be aware of that coming into the month of uh february for you we have the eight of swords in the upright position well this can be feeling a little bit restricted the eight of swords is when we feel hemmed in locked in um, stuck in a situation where we can't see our way out. Sometimes this can be mental activity that just won't stop where we're overthinking a situation where we're just feeling like we're kind of trapped in this situation, like there's no way out. could be happening in your career, in your relationship, in your, um, in your home, in your environment, such as your neighborhood or something like that, where you just feel like there's no way out. I can't go, I can't move this way, I can't move that way. Sometimes um, this can indicate trapped in a situation at work where you're really just not happy with how things are unfolding in your career or your work, and you just want to find a way out, and you can't. Maybe other people are piping in sometimes. With the Eight of Swords upright, other people are piping in, and they are maybe making the situation worse by telling you more and more things about what can go wrong. Some of you say, for example, this is your neighborhood. Maybe the neighborhood's kind of falling apart and all the other neighbors are talking about it constantly, making you feel more and more trapped. So there's that. That's how you come into 
the month of February. Now, around the middle of the month, energies change up quite a bit. You do have the uh, beautiful Nine of Cups here in the upright position. This is the Wish card. So if you are feeling trapped here, uh, Aries, looks like you will be moving out of it quite, you know, lickety split, as they used to say. You'll be moving out of that situation pretty quickly. I don't see Aries staying in this energy for too long. You're usually too impatient and you will rock that boat until you find a way out. So it looks like you'll be moving around the middle of February into an ideal situation where the wish is manifesting. Something is coming about for you and it's making you feel super happy. This is also a card that represents uh, celebrations because of something unfolding in our favor. So it looks like there is a big turnaround around the middle of the month. And then towards the month, you leave uh, the month of February with the hermit in the reverse position. Well, this is good because this is about being released after a time of being in hermit's repose where we're held back for some reason. Sometimes this can indicate um, we are putting ourselves in a timeout, maybe to study something, to learn something. Um, it could be like this will come up sometimes for students who are, you know, cramming for exams. They need to pull back and, from social life and everything else in order to absorb themselves into some type of study. This can happen even with uh, non-students where we are trying to learn something, maybe going uh, behind the scenes, like desperately trying to find information on something, doing research. Sometimes this is just pulling ourselves back because we need to figure something out, doing some um, inner work where we're working on ourselves to try to figure out our best way forward. But the good news is, is leaving the month of February, you, it is all systems are go. You're moving forward now. This is where you're no. There's no longer. You're no longer meeting delays. Maybe that's what have, has you feeling trapped. It could be the delays, and in, uh, in the month of January, maybe you just want to move ahead faster. And there was a lot of delays, but it looks like now the Hermit in reverse indicates um, it's time to return. <laughs> to the land of the living. We are moving forward. It's action forward. Uh, really good reading, actually. The only thing is coming into the month, this feeling of being a little bit restrained. But other than that, you've got the chariot here. You have the wish card. You have... Um, you have advancement and moving forward. So this is really encouraging, really cool, really interesting. So let us know in the comment section below if this resonated for you. And do tell us how, uh, how so. In the meantime, I would like to thank you very much for joining me and remind you to uh, join the Star Lordist podcast that is being, uh, well, it's recording live every Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Central Time. And feel free to jump in there. The podcast is gaining a lot more, um, uh, I don't know what, what you could say about it. It's just more and more people are joining it, maybe more popular, yes. And uh, just pop into the chat, a lovely bunch of people in there and we'd love to hear from you or even if you just want to sit back and watch it all you have to do is come to the channel it broadcasts live at 7 p.m central and just jump in there and take it from there so i really hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you again next time take care much love bye bye for now